Okay, setting up my screen. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yay! <clears throat> Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Oh, Katie says yes. Thank you, Katie. Hello, hello. Tetsuro says yes. Thank you, Tetsuro. Fernando says yes. Thank you, Fernando. Trolley says yes. Thank you, Trolley. Edward says yes. Thank you. Mubarak says yes. Oh, Mubarak says hello. <laughs> Hi. Umesh says yes. Thank you. Nelson says hello. <laughs> I see Candy. Hello, Candy. Hello, Anna. Harry says yes. Thank you, Harry. Eduardo says yes. Thank you, Eduardo. Hello, Nelson. Okay, Saima says yes. Thank you, Saima. Okay, well, I'm happy to see you all because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So, um, hello, hello, and thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well, you know what we do. We always have a toast for good luck. Let's start with a toast for good luck. Samuel says yes, thank you, Samuel. <laughs> okay, we will have two toasts, yes. We will have two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team, yes. You see them, their names are in green. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you, cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast, it's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers. Bump, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Hmm. Okay, great, great, great. Oh no, my mic is not hooked up. You're hearing my, my computer. How can I, hold on a second, I'm so sorry. Oh boy. Ah, my mic is not hooked up. You are hearing me from my computer. So the, this, the mic isn't very good on my computer. So hold on a sec. You won't hear me for a minute. I have to change. Okay. Now, that is better, right? <laughs> I can't believe it. I was, I was rushing to get everything ready, and I forgot to put in my mic. So I'm sure the sound is much better now. Oh, so sorry about that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, live, right? I'm live. <laughs> Good and bad, I'm live. Okay, well, um, we did our toast. You're here, thank you for being here with me. Okay, well, about today's lesson plan, and actually before we get before I tell you about today's lesson plan, I want to say something about the chat. Only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots and to keep the spamming out. So if you want to chat with us, please subscribe. And again, I do that to get the bots and the spamming out so we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. Now, um, also, today we have two worksheets, and the worksheets are on my Patreon page. They're in PDF file. So by helping me, supporting me on my Patreon, you get worksheets. Yeah, so all the worksheets we do here in our live stream classes, I put them on my Patreon page. 
so you can um, support me there. Please, by supporting me on my Patreon, you get all of our worksheets we do here on our live stream class. So please check that out. There are links below to get to my Patreon. Okay, good, good. Now about today's lesson plan, we will do three activities. Yes, three activities. Our first activity is form a sentence. This is a review from yesterday. So we will do it again. Then we will do a, which one doesn't belong? And the topic is hotel. And then we are doing a work, another worksheet and a video. And it's based on the um, object pronoun, indirect object pronoun, him and her. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. So let's get right into it. Let's do form a sentence. I'm going to write a pattern on the board and I want you to write sentences based on the pattern. Here we go. And so I'm going to keep everything in order. So number one, form a sentence. All right, and so here it is. I wake up <clears throat> at, <clears throat> so what time? On weekdays. Weekdays, that is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I wake up at, mm, on weekdays because. So here you're going to tell me the reason you get up at that time. So why do you get up at that time? <clears throat> Hello, air lady. Okay, so I wake up at, on weekdays because. So this is the time you get up in the morning, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. And, and why? Why do you get up? What do you, what do you do? So basically like your daily routine. So for example, in my situation, I wake up at 5.50, 5.50 on weekdays because I need to get ready for work. And um, so I, I, I make coffee, I make breakfast, I take a shower, I get dressed. So I wake up at 5.50 on weekdays because I have to get ready for work. I have to get ready for work. Nazan, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Nazanin, Nazanin, hello. Zoa, hello. My Frank, hello. Miss C, hello. Okay, Hassan, hello. Welcome, Nazin. Nazani. Nazani. Okay, Tanin. Uh, when I stay at home. Okay, that is. Um, okay, good, good. We're going to. That's the poll, and we'll do that a little bit later, uh, Tanin. Okay, Umesh is on the board. Umesh has a sentence. Umesh says, I wake up at 4 a.m. because I have to study. So Umesh likes to get up early to study. I, when I was a university student, I, I got up early to, to study. I'm kind of a morning person. Okay. How's the mic? Hold on, I'm, I wanna test my mic real quick here. I wanna test it, make sure it's working. Hold on. Okay, it's, I'm, I'm on mic. I'm not on my computer. <laughs> okay, GT. I wake up at 
8 o'clock because I can't sleep. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I can't sleep. That's good. That works. Tetsuro, I wake up at 4 a.m. because I study English and take a walk. Very healthy, Tetsuro. We got early risers. Kaylin, I wake up at 9 on weekdays because I go to bed late. So Kaylin's a little, she wakes up a little late. Samuel, I wake up at 8 because I have to eat breakfast. Good, good, good. Marta, hello Marta. I wake up at 5 o'clock to do my bed, oh, to make my bed and prepare fresh coffee. I wake up at 5 o'clock to make my bed and prepare coffee. Mari, hello. Okay, Shazad's world, hello. Okay, Zoa, I wake up at 12 on weekdays because I am on break. Oh, so Zawa is sleeping in. Wow. Noon. We get up at noon. KH, hello. Okay, uh, Missy, I wake up at 6 because I need to go to work. Eduardo, I wake up at 9 a.m. on weekdays because I'm on vacation. So Eduardo is sleeping in. Umesh, I wake up at 4. I don't get to sleep after, or I can't go back to sleep after that. So, um, Umesh, I wake up at 4 on weekdays because, or I, I wake up at 4, but I can't go, I can't go back to bed after that. Okay, Tommy, I wake up at 5 to perform my morning prayer. Good. Sylvia, I wake up at 9 on weekdays because I have to read my books. After that, I shower and have breakfast. Okay, my Frank, I wake up at 4.30 on weekdays because I go to church. Well, that's early. Okay, Martha, thank you. Yeah, I, at the beginning, I forgot to hook in my mic. So, right at the beginning, like for our toast, um, you are listening through my computer, which isn't very good. So, but now I'm hooked up to the microphone. So the sound should be much better now. Okay, Umesh, I wake up at four because I go to bed early. That's right, early to bed, early to rise. Okay, Hanan, I wake up at seven on Fridays because I have to clean my house. KH, I wake up at 6.20 on weekdays because I go to pray. Sylvia, sometimes I, I am sleepless. The next day I'm very tired. Okay, we don't say sleepless, sleepy. So sometimes I am sleepy the next day because I get up early. How about that? Sylvia? So sometimes I am sleepy the next day because I wake up early or go to bed late, maybe. Sometimes I am sleepy because I go to bed late. Trolley, I wake up at five because I need to go to school. Okay, Nazen, I wake up at five because I go to school. Mara, I wake up every I wake up on weekdays. I wake up at four. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I wake up at eight because I have to prepare my daughter for school. That's right. I wake up at four on weekdays because I go to see stray cats to feed them. Okay, Martha, she fixed her scent. I wake up at five o'clock to make my bed. Okay, Umesh, I wake up at 4 a.m. and I can't go to bed after that. Good. Mubarak, I wake up at 12 because I am homeless. Oh, no. But you have a computer. You have internet. Mubarak. Okay, thank you, Tom. Um, Tanim. Thank you, Tanim. 
Okay. Let's see. We're going to change activities here. Candy, I wake up at 6 on weekends because I'm going to walk my dog. Okay, I wake up at 4 a.m. because I was working, but I don't go now to work. That practice walking up early continues. Okay, okay. Sylvia, I meant to say sleepy. Yeah, all night I'm, so I'm sleepless. Okay, okay, let's see, Sylvia. I meant to say I, I, okay, I meant to say, Meant to say, I am not sleepy all night, so I'm sleepless. Or let, let, let's say, I can't sleep at night. So we don't say sleepless. We say, um, I can't get to sleep. So some people have, um, what's the word? They can't sleep, and so they are, they have, um, Oh, the word's escaping me right now. But if you can't sleep, there's a condition, right? Um, I can't think of the, the word right now where some people, they can't get to sleep. And, or, you know, they, maybe they're, they're lying in bed, but they can't really get to sleep. They stare at the walls. They think about things and they can't get to sleep and that's a problem for many people because it's important for us to get a good night's sleep so we wake up in the morning feeling refreshed and um, insomnia. That's it, Martha. Insomnia. So some people have insomnia and that means you can't get to sleep or you don't really get a good night's sleep right? Insomnia. That's it. So insomnia is a problem for many people. That's not a problem for me. <laughs> it's not a problem. I'm lucky. I have no problem sleeping. And um, yeah, so if you have insomnia, I feel bad for you. And they say if you have insomnia, it's probably good to exercise before you go to bed. So if, if, it's, if you have a hard time getting to sleep, at night, perhaps you should try to exercise at night. So before you go to bed, um, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, maybe, you, you know, if you can um, go for a run, go for a run, take a hot shower, and then try to sleep. Maybe you can sleep then. I don't know. But anyways, let's, <laughs> good job everyone. However, it's time to change activities. So let's go ahead and change activities. So we're gonna to go to activity number two. Activity number two is which one is different? Okay, good. Which one is different? And our topic is hotel. And um, what we do here, and you can see here, here's the worksheet. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the worksheet on the screen so you will be able to see. And you can get your own worksheet on my Patreon. The, there's a link below. And what we're going to do in this activity, I'm going to give you four, four vocabulary items, four words, and you're going, to, you're going to tell me which one is different and the reason why. So, for example, if, if it's red, blue, bicycle, pink, red, blue, bicycle, pink, which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because you can say it's not a color, a bicycle because it's transportation, a bicycle because it has two wheels, a bicycle because uh, you sit down on it, a bicycle because it has a steering, it, it has a, it has handlebars, okay? So it's, there's no wrong answer, it's your imagination, it's 
the purpose is for you to explain in English the reason why, right? Express your idea, express your thoughts in English. So that's the challenge, right? Not just bicycle, but telling why. And so that's the difficulty, but you know, that's the challenge, but that's why you're here. You're here to challenge yourself. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do which one is different. Our topic is hotel. I'm going to put the the worksheet on the screen so we can see. So in the chat, please tell me which one you think is different. And of course, why? That's the most important thing. Why? So here we go. So we have two groups. Two, two groups. And so let's do the first one here. So I gotta make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so our topic is hotel. And um, we have, here are the key keywords, A, B, C, D. And we have room service, a room key, luggage, a porter. Room service, a room key, luggage, a porter. Which one is different and why? So that's the important thing. So you can see the pattern here. I think and then you choose which one, and then because. And so that's the reason why. That's why you think it doesn't belong. You have to express yourself in English. You have to explain why in English, all right? So that's the difficulty, but you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to practice. So let's make it larger, and, and tell me in the, please tell me, in the chat, which one is different? Room service, a room key, luggage, a porter, which one is different and why? Okay, Sasan, I wake up at five because I want to prepare lunch for my son before he goes to school. Good, so lunch bag, so prepare a lunch bag. How about that? Um, Sasan, uh, because I want to prepare a lunch bag. Okay, Umesh, which one is different? Umesh says, a room key because it has grooves on it. Yeah, nice grooves. So maybe that's a, a, a new word for people. A groove, it, it, like a key, right? And so the grooves unlock the lock, right? And so, and also a record has grooves. And so a groove is, uh, I'm gonna have to show you. It's hard for me to explain, but um, okay, here's the key. And then right, and here are the grooves. <laughs> I don't know. And, and here, here's the key, right? And, and so these are grooves. Okay, and so it's not, it's not flat. So at the bottom here, this is flat, and here we have grooves. And like a, a record, like the old days, records, right? And so you have grooves, right? And, and this is a record. And so you put your record on the turntable, and there's, you know, a, a, a needle. People don't use these anymore. This is old school, yeah. And so you have like that. And so, and so the music plays. The, the record goes in circles, and, and the, the, the needle picks up the vibrations and plays the music. But anyways, these are grooves, so good, Umesh. All right, so room key has grooves, very good. Okay, let's see. Harry, I think a porter because they are alive. Or you could say a porter because it's a human. But room service is done by a human too, um, or Harry. So room service is done by a human. A porter is a human. Kadeen, I think a porter because he's a person. Well, rooms, okay, room service, okay, it's an idea. Okay, I'll say that. So. A room service is, 
you know, an idea or it's a service, right? They bring food to you. Uh, a key is a thing. Luggage is a thing. Room service is um, an idea, perhaps. Porter is a person. Yeah. Okay. So a porter is a person. So, so Kadeem, I think a porter because it's a person. Okay, Tetsuro says, I think luggage because it is composed of one word. Okay, good. Room service, two words. A uh, room key, three words. Luggage, one. A uh, porter, two. Good, good, good. Okay. Hello, Gantulga. Oh, some of your names are so hard for me to pronounce. Umesh. Room service because it is very essential. Okay, good. Yes, when you're staying at a hotel, you want to eat. And it's nice having someone bring food to you, right? Okay, Hanan. A porter because he is a human being, but others are not. Sylvia, I think room service because it's been a longer day. Okay, Sylvia, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I didn't. Sorry, sorry, I need to continue. Okay, because it's been a longer day working, you get to the hotel, you want to chill out and relax. Oh, okay, I understand what you're saying. Okay, Sylvia, uh, I think room service because uh, we can. We can chill out, relax, and someone brings food to us. Okay, Sylvia, one more time. I think room service because we can relax, we can chill out because someone will bring food for us. We don't have to make it, we don't have to go anywhere. We can just relax in the hotel room and they will bring us food. Samuel, I think room service is different because it is necessary for everyone. Tani, I think luggage is different because baggages are our belongings. Oh, oh, okay. How about this, Tani? I think baggage is different because they belong. It belongs to us. Baggage. It belongs to us. Right. Room service is the hotel. Very okay. I understand. Nice, nice. So baggage belongs to us. Room service is part of the hotel. A room key belongs to the hotel. And a porter is part of the hotel. But luggage belongs to us. We bring that from our home. Very good, Tani. Umesh, luggage because it needs to be carried. Yes. Marta, I think a room key is different because I have to take it with me if I go outside of the room or the hotel. Good, good. Yeah, the porter stays in the hotel. The luggage stays in your room. Room service stays in the hotel, but you have to take your key with you. Very good. All right, Prosper, I don't understand. Please, can you explain to me a little bit? Yes. Okay, no problem. So which one is different? So, for example, I'll give you the easy example. We have red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Bicycle is different, right? It is transportation. The other three are colors, right? So bicycle is different than the other three because the other three are colors, right? Red, blue, Bicycle pink. Which one is different? Bicycle is different because it is transportation or because it has two wheels or because we can go somewhere on it. Okay, so and there are endless answers. There's no wrong answer. It's what you think. So you have to, your challenge is to explain your ideas to me in English. That's the challenge. Okay.
let's see, Candy, I think, I think it's a room key because uh, room keys are small and easy to lose. Good, Candy, yeah. Don't lose your, your room key. <laughs> That's good, Candy, yeah. Easy to, they're small. A uh, room key is small. Porter is a, a big person. Luggage, you know, they're big bags. Room service is a big person. Room key just goes in your pocket. Tetsuro, I think luggage because we can, we, Tetsuro, I think luggage because we can, okay, I need more information. I don't know. One more time, Tetsuro. Okay, Mar, Ar, Mars, Marceline, Marceline, I think when we, yeah, okay, so a room key because you supposed to take it with you. Okay, okay, uh, Marceline, I think a room key because we should take it with us. We should take it with us. Eduardo, I think luggage because it has wheels to, to move more easily. Good, Eduardo. So not carry, but move, right? So the wheels, we can, we can uh, push the luggage, right? Because it has wheels, we can push it. So I think luggage because it has wheels to move easily, to move easily. Sylvia, I think luggage because it is heavy, so we need a porter to carry them to the room. Good, 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 Sylvia. Air lady, I think room service because they are human and help each other. Good, air lady. Saima, I think a room key is different because it's small and it is important. Yeah, so we don't need a lot, Saima. It is small and it is important. Umesh, a room key, because if you lose it, you can't go in, yes. Sylvia, room service, because we can relax and chill out. Someone brings us food, yes. Lisa, hello. How are you? Good morning, Lisa. Okay, Tetsuro, I think a room key, because it is small and light. Eduardo, I think a key because it opens doors. Good, good. Ava is in the house. Hello, Ava. Kisses. Mwah. Sylvie, I think a room key is essential to get in our room for sure. Tetra, I think luggage because we can carry many items with it. Yes, for sure. Tetra, good. Umesh, a porter because he gets wages. Yes. Kaidin, I think a room key because it has a number. Okay, now we're getting lots of, we're, okay, see, we're taking time, it, we're, we're going slowly here, and so what's happening is you are thinking of more answers. Yes, so that's the purpose, right? We're here to practice English. More is the, is best, right? More, we want, we want lots of sentences, we want lots of ideas. Lots of vocabulary. We want to express ourselves in English. Tetra, I think a room key because it is composed of three words. Yes, a room key. Those are three words. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, I see your, but we're doing, Air Lady, we're doing one. We're doing group one right now. Right now we are doing group one. Okay, Prosper, I think Porter, because he is a person, he can help someone, yes. Okay, Umesh. A porter and room service because they have dress, oh, they have a dress code. Good, Umesh. They have, so room service and a porter, they have a dress code. Eduardo, I think luggage because it has wheels to move more easily. Yes, good, Eduardo. Lisa, I think, uh, I think luggage because it helps okay, Lisa, I think luggage because it helps us move 
easy to move around. O okay, Lisa, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. So luggage, we use luggage so we can um, move our things easily, right? So we can um, travel easily, right? You put your, your, your clothes and, 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 and things you need every day. So if you go travel somewhere, luggage will help us move our things more easily, right? If, if you don't have luggage, then it's mm -hmm. hard to, to uh, carry your clothes, right? It's difficult to carry um, your important things to travel with, right? So, Lisa, one more time, please write your sentence one more time. Yeah, I read your your sentence for number one, Air Lady. I think it was room service. I forget, but yeah, I read number one. Okay. Ava. Okay, Tetsuro. I think luggage because the image has wheels. Good. Ava. A room key because we can put it in our pocket. Umesh, luggage, because there, there is no O in luggage. There is no O in luggage. Eduardo, I think room service, because I'm hungry. <laughs> Tetra, I think a room key, because you can't enter your room without it. Harry. Okay, let's see. Oh, cart. Okay, Harry. Yeah, I want Lisa to tell me one more time. Oh, one, okay, do that one more time. So we're not doing group two yet. So we're going, uh, Air Lady, group two, we're going just a few, just, just another minute or so, and we'll go to group two. So I just want to read the last sentences for group one right now. Trolley, I think room, I think a room key because we can lock it. Or, okay, Trolley, I think a room key because we can lock our door. We can lock our door. Katie, I think luggage because it doesn't belong to the hotel. Yes. Hanan, I think room service because it is very important for us when we stay in a hotel. Sylvia, if you travel, it is handy to have luggage, especially if you go shopping. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Okay, let's go to uh, group two now. Here we go, group two keywords. A bathrobe, a mini fridge, valet parking, a bed. One more time. A bathrobe, a mini fridge, valet parking, a bed. Which one is different and why? Eduardo, I think a porter because I need to take a room key. Okay, I'm not sure, Eduardo. A porter helps carry your luggage to your room. That's what a porter does. They carry your luggage to your room. They open the door for you. They, they provide um, services for the guests. Okay, Tony. I think luggage because it belongs to us. The other three has, the other three belong in the hotel. Sylvia, sometimes it is better not to have a porter. If you are short of money, you have to tip the porter. Yeah, I know, Sylvia. <laughs> like, that's okay, I can carry my own bags, not a problem. That's right, Sylvia, I, I avoid the porter. No, thank you, I'm good, I can do it by myself. Um, Sylvia, here in Japan, there's no tipping. So in Japan, we don't, there, we don't have that, that custom, the, the, tipping custom. So when I go back to
to California to visit my family and friends, I have to like remember to tip. It's like, oh boy. Okay, Ava says, or Sylvia, a bed, we need to sleep on it. Yeah, a bed because we need to sleep on it. Ava, a bed because it's made from wood. Okay, Umesh, a bed because if you are tired, you jump into it. Good, Ava, a mini fridge because it uses electricity. It uses electricity. Harry, I think the bathrobe because it is the only one you can wear. Good, good. Ava, a bathrobe because it's very soft. I know, Sylvia. Yeah, in New York, you got a tip. Same California. Everywhere in the States, you got a tip. But here in Japan, we don't tip. There's no tipping culture. Ava, our air lady, please write your sentence again. I, I can't find it. I can't find your sentence, so do it again, air lady. We're here for practicing, right? So it's good practice for you to do it again. Umesh, a mini fridge because you can take out drinks from it. Yes. Trolley, I think a bed because we need to rest for sure, Hanan. I think, uh, I think valet parking because he is standing in the street, but the others are inside. How about that, honey? So the valet, valet parking is outside. The others are inside. So valet parking is outside the hotel. The others are inside the hotel. Hassan, hello. Okay, Sylvia, a bed because we need to sleep on it. Mubarak, I think valet parking because it uses a person. Good, Mubarak. Kareem, I think valet parking because it's outside. Good, Kareem. Samuel, a mini fridge is different because it is an electronic device. Good, Samuel. Tetsuro, I think valet parking because it doesn't have any indefinite article. Good, good. Sylvia, oh yeah, lucky not to tip. Yeah, tipping can be, but I, when I was a university student, I used to deliver pizzas, and so I enjoyed receiving tips. So I think if you're giving tips, it's not fun, but if you're working in the tip industry, right, your server or, you know, hotel or, you know, delivery, you need the tips, you want the tips. But yeah, it's nice just going into a restaurant, paying for your meal and leave. <laughs> so it, it is, um, you know, or taking a taxi and you just pay the, you just pay the fee, the fare, and you don't have to worry about thinking about a tip. How much should I give for a tip? You don't have to do that. So that's nice. Okay, Sylvia, a bathrobe is very convenient. Ava, a bed because we can relax on it. Okay, Umesh says, what is valet parking? That's a good question. Valet parking, someone parks your car. So you drive up to the hotel, you stop in front of the hotel, and there is somebody standing there. They have, they kind of look like a porter. They have a uniform, and they park your car for you. And so they give you a number, so they take your car and they park it. And then when you want your car back, you go to the valet area, you show them your number, and then they come and bring you back your car. So valet parking, they park your car for you. You don't park your car, they do it. That is valet parking. Good question. Okay, Ava, valet parking because it takes care, it, it takes care, hmm, let's see, Ava, so it, it takes care of your car, or they take care of your car, so valet parking, they take care of your car, 
Marta, I think mini fridge is different because it should help me to refresh myself. Tetsuo, I think a bathrobe because we can dry our bodies with it. Trolley, I think a mini fridge because we can put cool drinks in it. Candy, I think a mini fridge because it's convenient to put it anywhere. Hanan Valley Parking is outside, but the others are inside the hotel. Very good. Anna, I think a mini fridge because it's more convenient. Kadeen, I think a bathrobe because we can wear it. Sylvia, if, you, if you're not short of money, it is good to have valet parking. Lisa, I think a bathrobe because it can be worn after a bath. It can be worn after a bath. Okay, I think valet parking because it's only outside the room. Ava, a bathrobe because it's very soft. Anna, sorry, I, I think mini fridge because it's more convenient. Tetsuo, I think valet parking because it's not an item but a service. Prosper, I think a bed because you can sleep on it. Eva, a mini fridge because we can take some drinks from it. Umesh, valet parking because somebody parks your car. Sylvia, valet parking here in New York. You have to tip someone. You have to tip sometimes you have to pay for parking your car. Yep, so you have to, you have to tip the valet and maybe pay for parking too. In Japan, you have to pay for parking, like in hotels. So even though you're paying for the room, many hotels, they do not include parking. So there's no valet, but you have to park your car and pay for parking. Yeah, so I think Japan's like, New York, maybe there's not many, there's not much parking in New York. It's difficult to park in New York. Same here in Japan. In Japan, it's difficult to park and you have to pay for parking. Okay, air lady. Okay. Yeah, write your sentence one more time, air lady. Do it again. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. It's time to change activities, okay? So we will... Okay, Umesh, what do you call threads or lace, laces in the... Okay, what, what, I'm not sure what you mean, Umesh. Like shoelaces? Are you talking about for the bathrobe? The belt? I'm not sure what you mean, Umesh. Tell me I need more information. Eduardo, I think valet parking because it's more, it's a more efficient way. It's a more efficient way. Okay, let's change activities. Let's see, Eduardo, okay. Sylvia, I would prefer to take the subway this way. I don't have to pay for valet parking, yeah. Walking is, is the best way. <laughs> so in, in Japan, we have, great, we have a great um, train system. So if you, if you travel in Japan, you usually take a train and then you just from from the train station you just walk to your hotel yeah okay Umesh so the bathrobe that's called a belt even though it's not it doesn't have a buckle but just like the bathroom bathrobe belt okay oh Ava says a mini fridge because it has a handle yeah so it has a door you open the the door of the fridge okay Let's go ahead and do our next activity. We will, um, on Tuesday, on Tuesday we will review our, um, which one is different, okay? So, of course, it's always good to do it twice. It's always good to review. The first time, maybe it's a little difficult. You're not sure what to do. You're not sure how to ex explain yourself. You're not sure what to say. But if you do it again, then you have more opportunities to practice. You have uh, a better chance to um, 
describe your idea in English. So um, it's always good when we do it again. Lisa, I think a mini fridge because it can store some drinks. Good. Yes, Lisa, store some drinks. Yeah. So store something, you put it away, right? So um, we say like, oh, store your luggage in the garage, right? Or store your suitcase in the um, locker. So if you, if you travel, you go to another city and um, you travel by train and maybe you have some bags, but you don't want to carry the bags with you. So there are storage lockers, storage lockers or coin lockers. And so you put a few coins in the locker and you store your luggage in the coin locker. And so you can um, walk around with your hands free. Yeah, you don't have to carry your luggage around town. You could put it in the locker, store it in the locker, and then you have your hands free. And now you can go walk around the city, enjoy yourself. So um, yeah, Lisa, good. Store your, or store some drinks coin lockers, you can store your bags. Okay, let's go to the next activity. All right. Our next activity is a, another worksheet and video. But first, we will watch a video and then we will do a worksheet, okay? So the video will help us with the worksheet. And again, you can get the worksheet in PDF on my Patreon. Support me so I can support you, yeah? So help me on my Patreon and you get all the worksheets we do in our live stream classes. So do it, help me so I can help you. Check out my Patreon, there's a link for it and you get all the worksheets in PDF form right there, okay. So, our topic is him and her, him and her. And so, for example, okay, so actually, okay, video and worksheet. So let's go ahead and just, let's watch the video and by watching the video, that's gonna help us do the worksheet, okay? So um, I will put the, the video on the screen. Let's have a look. Okay, there's the video. And we will practice doing the video and then we will do the worksheet. So let's have a look at the video. Okay, so here we go making it full screen so we can see it easily. Okay, <clears throat> so what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I don't know, I can't decide. How about headphones? I can't decide, how about, and we're gonna have a quiz, okay? We're gonna have a quiz. We always have a quiz with the video, yeah. The quiz gives us more practice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's read it together. What are you going to give your brother for his birthday? What are you going to give your brother for his birthday? Okay, I see your, your sentence now, air lady. I think a bed because I can rest on it. Yep, good sentence, no mistakes, air lady, no mistakes. I can't decide. No, 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 I don't know. I can't decide. Here, one more time. What are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I don't know. 
I can't decide. How about headphones? Good idea, thank you. Good idea, thank you. So suggestion, right? So he's making a suggestion. So in the first part here, okay, question, what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I don't know, I can't decide. And then how about headphones? So that's a, a suggestion. How about this? How, right? So the, the person is making a suggestion. How about headphones? And then he agrees. Oh, that's a good idea. I agree. That's a good idea. I agree. Headphones would be a good gift, right? That would be a good gift for my brother for his birthday, right? So my brother's birthday. So I'm going to give my brother a birthday present but I don't know what to give him. And, and so his friend suggests, how about headphones? Oh, headphones. Yes, my brother would like headphones. That's a good idea. Thank you for your suggestion. Okay. What are you going to give your sister for her birthday? What are you going to give your sister for her birthday? I don't know. I can't decide. Wow, Sylvia, that's an expensive present. <laughs> How about a sports bag? Good idea. Thank you. Okay. What are you going to give your father for his birthday? What are you going to give your father for his birthday? Good, Lisa. I don't know. I can't decide. <laughs> Ava, same situation. Oh, how about a fishing pole? How about a fishing pole? Good idea. Thank you. Okay, here we go. What are you going to give your mother for her birthday? What are you going to give your mother for her birthday? I don't know. I can't decide. How about a wallet? <clears throat> How about a wallet? Good idea. Thank you. Okay. What are you going to give your friend for his birthday? What are you going to give your friend for his birthday? I don't know. I can't decide. I don't know. I can't decide. How about a Swiss army knife? How about a Swiss army knife? Good idea. Thank you. Okay, here we go. What are you going to give your friend for her birthday? What are you going to give your friend for her birthday?
I don't know. I can't decide. Yes. How about a teapot? How about a teapot? Good idea. Thank you. Good idea. Thank you. What are you going to give your boss for her birthday? What are you going to give your boss for her birthday? I don't know. I can't decide. How about a schedule book? How about a schedule book? Good idea. Thank you. Good idea. Thank you. What are you going to give your coworker for his birthday? What are you going to give your coworker for his birthday? I don't know. I can't decide. I don't know. I can't decide. How about a radio? How about a radio? Good idea. Thank you. Okay, here's the quiz. Are you ready for the quiz? Okay, in the chat. What did her brother get for his birthday? What did her brother get for his birthday? Okay, here's the quiz. What did her brother get for his birthday? Do you remember? Okay, Harry says headphone. Or actually, headphones, right? Tetsu, he got headphones. Mary, hello Mary, how are you? He got headphones. There's two, one, two, so there's no ah. So we need headphones. Okay, Umesh, he got headphones. Julia, brand new headphones. Ava, headphones. <laughs> Sylvia, no problem. Okay. Okay, good, Harry. Okay, let's find out what he got. All right. Okay, so he got headphones for his birthday. He got headphones for his birthday. He got headphones for his birthday. Okay, let's, next. All right, here's our next question. What did his sister get for her birthday? What did his sister get for her birthday? What did his sister get for her birthday? Air Lady, Google Translate is free, isn't it? I think it's free. Okay, sports bag. Mary, she got a sports bag. 
Okay, Harry, she got a sports bag for her birthday. Yeah, early. I'm not sure. Like, on my phone, it's free. There, there's a good um, translation software. It's called um, Deep Deep L. I think it's called. Check it out. Deep L. Check check that out, Air Lady, for translation. Deep L. Okay. Oh, Tetsuro, recommend. Okay, yeah, yeah, translating. Okay, that's funny, Tetsuro. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, DeepL is, is really good. I use that to translate um, Japanese. Okay, let's find out. Okay, she got a sports bag for her birthday. Yay! She got a sports bag for her birthday. <laughs> yes, that's what, that's funny. We thought about it at the same time, didn't we? Okay, she got a sports bag for her birthday. All right. Here we go. What did her father get for his birthday? Do you remember? What did her father get for his birthday? What did her father get for his birthday? Hello, song. What did her father get for his birthday? Tetsuro says he got a fishing pole for his birthday. Eduardo says he got a fishing pole for his birthday. Mary says her father got a fishing pole. Julia says um, he got a fishing pole for his birthday. <laughs> Ava forgot. Oh, I forgot what he got. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. What did he get for his birthday? Let's, oh, yes. He got a fishing pole for his birthday. He got a fishing pole for his birthday. Here we go. What did his mother get for her birthday? Yeah, so fishing rod is the, Harry, so fishing pole's like everything, I guess. I don't know. But fishing rod is the mechanics of, right? Fishing pole is like the stick. Fishing rod is the, the thing that holds the string has the handle. But if you, most people just say fishing pole for everything. Okay, what did his mother get for her birthday? Okay, Tetsuro, she got a wallet for her birthday. His mother got a wallet. Julie. Uh, she got a wallet for her birthday. Eva, she got a wallet. Uma says she got a teapot. Eduardo, she got a wallet. So we got lots of wallets. Lisa, she got a wallet. Okay. Candy says she got a wallet. Okay, let's check it out. What did she get for her birthday? Yep. Good job, everyone. She got a wallet for her birthday. You remembered. You remembered. Okay, here we go next. What did her friend get for his birthday? 
What did her friend get for his birthday? Do you remember? Do you remember? What did her friend get for his birthday? Oh, Kadeem. Kadeem remembered. Uma says, I think it's a teapot. Mary says, he got a Swiss Army knife. Tetsuro, he got a Swiss Army knife for his birthday. Okay, Oz, Osman, he got a Swiss Army knife for his birthday. Nelson, correction. She got, okay, yep, good, good, Nelson. Julie, he got a Swiss Army knife for his birthday. Ava, he got an army knife. Lisa, he got a knife for his birthday. Okay, let's have a look. Let's check it out. Oh, yes. He got a Swiss army knife for his birthday. You got it. You remembered. Okay, here we go. Next. What did his friend get for her birthday? What did his friend get for her birthday? What did his friend get for her birthday? Julie, she got a teapot for her birthday. Katie, a teapot. <laughs> Harry. Maybe like your friend? Yeah. Actually, for Christmas, I got a Swiss Army knife from my mother. My mother gave me one for, for Christmas. And actually, it's nice. Maybe it's something you don't buy for yourself, but you get it and go, yeah, I can use it. Sometimes it's useful. So don't laugh. It can be useful. You know, it's like... Oh, I could use a Swiss Army knife right now, <laughs> but you don't have one. Oh, but I got one for my birthday. Yes, I remember. I'll go and get it, and I can use it. Okay, what did she get for her? What did his friend get for her birthday? I'm seeing, I see teapot. I see lots of teapots. Let's have a look. Let's find out. Yep. Okay. It's a teapot. You got it. She got a teapot for her birthday. Very good. She got a teapot. All right. Here we go. What did his boss get for her birthday? What did his boss get for her birthday? birthday. Do you remember? What did his boss get for her birthday? Oh, Kadeen, you have good memory. What is a knuckle duster? <laughs> I don't know what a knuckle duster is. Lisa, she got a note. So, Lisa, a note is like memo, right? So, or like, you know, a little uh, message. So, a note would be like a message or a memo. Okay, Lisa. Okay, I see schedule books. I'm thinking, I see everyone remembered, huh? You guys have good memories. Eduardo says, Eduardo says, she got a schedule book for her birth. So not note. Okay. 
Let's have a look. All right. She got a schedule book for her birthday. She got a schedule book for her birthday. Very good. All right. What did her coworker get for his birthday? What did her coworker get for her birthday? Oh, oh, Umesh, no. So Umesh asked, teapot and kettle, same? No. Teapot, a kettle heats water. So that's, if you need hot water, you use a kettle. And then you pour the hot water from the kettle into the teapot to make tea. So a teapot does not heat water. A teapot does not boil water. But a kettle boils water. A kettle will heat up water. What did her coworker get for his birthday? Mary says he got a radio. Okay, you guys have great memories. Katie says he got a radio and a tie for his birthday. <laughs> Very good. Julie, he got a radio for his birthday. Lisa, he got a radio for his birthday, maybe, question mark. Okay. I think you guys remember. Oh, Tetsuro, thank you, poll. Yeah, we'll do the poll. Oh, boy, I forgot it yesterday. Uh, see, Ava, you, that's smart. So Ava, she, she says her, her memory isn't so good. So she writes it down and that way you don't forget. So uh, Ava doesn't only re uh, rely on her memory. She writes um, things down so she doesn't forget. That's good strategy, Ava. That's, that's good. That's a good way to do it. Okay. What did her coworker? Okay, he got a radio for his birthday. Very good. He got a radio. Okay, that's good, good, good. All right, that was the quiz. Now let's do the worksheet, shall we? Let's do the worksheet. Okay, let's bring up the worksheet. Okay, and here is the worksheet. You get the worksheet on my Patreon page. There's a link for it in the descriptions, but I will put it on the screen so everyone can see. So let's have a look. Where is it? Here it is. There it is, there's the worksheet. Let's do the worksheet together. So you write your answers. You write the conversation in the chat, okay? Write the conversation in the chat. So here we go. Part one, we have the, the hints, right? The hint words, number one, number two. And, um, and then part two is you write the conversation, right? So that's the, how the worksheet works. Part one, you have the hints. You have the vocabulary. And then part two, you write the sentences. But here, we're online or, you know, during our live class, go ahead and do write the conversation in the chat. If you have your own worksheet, go there and you just, you could use a pencil and do it right here. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's look at the example first. Let's look at the example first, right here, A, B. Here's the A, B conversation. A, what are you going to give your wife for her birthday? I'm going to give her a box of chocolate. What are you going to give your wife for her birthday? I'm going to give her a box of chocolate. Okay, now let's talk about the grammar real quick here. So.
Okay, so here. So we're going to use like object pronouns, okay? Indirect object pronouns. Okay, so you can see. So for example here, I'm going to give, and then we get like my wife, my husband, is that all? okay? So I'm going to give my wife, my husband, a present. I'm going to give my wife, my husband, a present. And then here we're going to um, put the pronoun. I'm going to give. Okay, wife is her. Husband, him. Whoops. A present. Okay. I'm going to give her a present. I'm going to give him a present. So they are receiving. So they they are receiving. So the so um I am that's pronoun like I, right? Mark. So I don't say mark, I say I, so I use the pronoun. And so that's the um, direct object. So I'm, I'm giving, right? And my wife or my husband is receiving. So they are the, the um, indirect. They are receiving. And so it is her, him. I'm going to give her a present. I am going to give him a present. I'm doing the action and they are receiving the action, right? So I'm giving, I'm doing the action, right? Oh, happy birthday. I am doing the action. I'm giving, and then my wife is receiving. And so for, for the object pronoun, it's her, okay? So that's what we're doing in the worksheet. We're practicing her and him, okay? So they are receiving the action. They are receiving the action and then I am giving, I am doing the action. Okay, so what are you going to give your wife for her birthday? I'm going to give her a box of chocolate. Okay, so here, let's do it now. Hold on, I gotta make it a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, sorry, sorry. Okay, a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we have number one, your brother for his birthday, headphones. Two, your sister for her birthday, a hand mirror. Three, your friend's baby for its birthday, a xylophone. Four, your father for his birthday, an alarm clock. Five, your teacher for his birthday, a book. Six, your mother for her birthday, a hand mixer. Okay, so write the, the conversation A, B. A, B, number one, A, B. Number two, A, B. Number three, A, B. Number four, A, B. Number five, A, B, six, a, B. Okay, Tetsuro. Number one. And write the number. Okay, so everyone, I want to, so you can see Tetsuro wrote the number. Number one, what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? So it's important you write the number one, two, three, so I know which one you are doing. Okay, so I don't, write the number please so I do not get confused. Okay. Here we go, Tetsuro, number 
one. Tetsuro says, what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I'm going to give him headphones. I'm going to give him. Lisa, I'm going to give a big smile. Okay, I'm going to give him a big smile. <laughs> that, that's good. A big smile, that's nice. Tetsuro, number two, what are you going to give your sister for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mirror. Kenny, what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I'm going to give him headphones. Oh, I'm going to give him a nice dinner. That's a nice birthday gift. I like food. <laughs> mm. Samuel, Bluetooth headphones. Whoa, expensive. What are you going to give your friend for his birthday? I'm going to give him headphones. Hanan. What are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I'm going to give him headphones. Katie, number two, what are you going to give your sister for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mirror. Tetsuro, number three, what are you going to give your friend's baby for its birthday? I'm going to give it a xylophone. Okay, Diana, what are you going to give your mother for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mixer. Oh, Sylvia, I'm going to give her hot tea at, at the Plaza Hotel in New York. Oh, that's an expensive hotel, isn't it? <laughs> you are a nice daughter, Sylvia. Nice daughter. Hernando. How are you today, Hernando? What are you going to give your friend? I'm going to give him headphones. Candy, what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I'm going to give him headphones, perfect. I'm going to give her a hand mirror. Tetsuro, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? I'm going to give him an alarm clock. Ava, what are you going to give your sister for her birthday, I'm going to give her a hand mirror. Okay. Tetsuo, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? I'm going to give him an alarm clock. Ava, what are you going to give your sister for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mirror. Tetsuo, what are you going to give your teacher for his birthday? I'm going to give him a book. I'm going to give him an alarm clock. Oh, a gift card. Nice. Anna, what are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I'm going to give him a gift card. Yeah, that way he can, he can buy what he wants to buy. Tetsuro, number six, what are you going to give your mother for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mixer. I'm going to give him money. Yes, money is the best present. Okay, let's look at here. We have seven, eight, and nine. Nine is your original conversation, your own original conversation. Number seven, your boyfriend for his birthday, a watch. Number eight, your girlfriend for her birthday, perfume. Okay, Candy, what are you going to give your sister for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mirror.
Number seven, Tetsuo, what are you going to give your boyfriend for his birthday? I'm going to give him a watch. Ava, what are you going to give your teacher for her birthday? I'm going to, or for his birthday, I'm going to give, I'm going to give him a book. Okay, Ava, be careful, Ava. Be careful. Katie, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? I'm going to give him an alarm clock. Eduardo, what are you going to give your mother for her birthday? I'm going to give her a box of, or I'm going to give her a chocolate cake. Okay, I'm going to give her a chocolate cake. Sylvia, I'm going to give him number five, a cookbook. Ah, okay. What are you going to give your teacher for his birthday? I'm going to give him a cookbook. Okay, number eight, Tetsuo, what are you going to give your girlfriend for her birthday? I'm going to give her perfume. Lisa, what are you going to give your girlfriend for her birthday? I'm going to give her perfume. Okay, Diana, original conversation. Here we go, number nine. What are you going to give your nephew for his birthday? I'm going to give him a jacket. Very good. Oh, Sylvia, I'm going to give him brunch in a restaurant. Number five. Yep. Okay, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah, take someone out to brunch is nice. Take someone out to dinner is nice. Number nine, original conversation, Tetsuro. What are you going to give your mother for her birthday? I'm going to give her a bouquet of flowers. Very nice. Mothers enjoy flowers. <laughs> okay, Lisa, what is number nine? That's your original conversation. Fernando, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? I'm going to give him an alarm clock. Martha, what are you going to give your boyfriend for his birthday? I'm going to give him a ticket for a teacher. <laughs> oh, okay, good, Lama. What, what are you going to give your child for its birthday, Lama? Oh, men's or uh, Munenza. I'm going to give her a surprise. Ooh, is it a diamond ring? Okay, Air Lady, what are you going to give your brother? I'm going to give him headphones. What are you going to give your sister for her? Okay, Air Lady, you need to look at the um, example there, right there, Air Lady. What are you going to give your wife for? I'm going to give her a box of chocolates. So, Air Lady, please look at the example. Oh, a raffle ticket. Lisa, I'm going to give her a raffle ticket. <laughs> or you mean like the lot a lottery ticket? Do you mean a lottery ticket? Because a lottery ticket, if you get lucky, you can win a lot of money if you get lucky. Oh, uh, uh, a travel ticket. Or we say... Um, a plane ticket, Lisa, a plane ticket. I'm going to give my mother 
a plane ticket anywhere in the world. I'm going to give her a plane ticket to any place in the world. I'm going to give her a plane ticket to any place in the world. Ava, what are you going to give your older sister for her birthday? I am going to give her money. It's easy for me. <laughs> you don't have to think about it. So, uh, Ava, we don't say a uh, money, we just say money. I am going to give her money. It's easier for me. Okay, good, Lisa. Samuel, number nine. What are you going to give your son? What are you going to give your son? for his birthday. I'm going to give him a mobile phone. Oh, he will like that. My kids want mobile phones, but I'm not going to give them phones yet. They're I don't want to, I don't want them to have mobile phones. I don't think it's good for kids. I don't know. They want them, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah, Ava, I am going to give her money. Perfect. Okay, Air Lady, what are you going to give your wife for her birthday? I am going to give her a box of chocolate. Yeah, that's good, Air Lady. So that's the pattern. What are you going to give your mm mm for her birthday, his birthday? I'm going to give her blah, blah, blah. I'm going to give him blah, blah, blah. That's the pattern. Right, so him and her, right? So right here, I'm going to give my, my wife, I'm going to give her. What are you going, so right here at the example, what are you going to give your wife for her birthday? I'm going to give her a box of chocolate. Okay, Sylvia, I'm going to give myself a trip to Norway to visit my sister. <laughs> give yourself a present. Yeah, Sylvia. I'm going to give myself a trip to Norway. I'm going to give myself a trip to Norway. That's actually, that, that's fun. That, that's good. So give a present to yourself. So here, him, her, myself, right? I'm going to give myself a trip. I'm going to give, okay, we're on the board here. I'm going to give myself a trip to Norway. Nice. So I'm going to give myself a trip to Norway. Or you can say, I'm going to give myself uh, I'm going to give myself a computer. I'm going to give myself a, a day at the spa. <laughs> so very good, very good. Yeah, give yourself a present, right? We always give other people stuff. Give yourself a present. Give yourself a present. Candy, what are you going to give your teacher for his birthday? I'm going to give him a book. Air Lady, what are you going to give your sister for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mirror. Okay, there's the, there is the pattern. Okay, Hanan, original sentence. What are you going to give your daughter for her birthday? I'm going to give her all my life. <laughs> or I'm, I give her every day. I give her all my life. Or, uh, okay, I think I know what you're saying. So I give her something 
I always give her something. I give her something every day. <laughs> I give her my, I gave her my life, right? So if you're the mother and you gave birth to your daughter, you gave your daughter life, but she doesn't think about it that way, right? Hanan, you think about it like that, right? Uh, she's my daughter, I gave her life, but she doesn't think that. She thinks, come on, mom, give me a birthday present. Give me, give me something I can hold. Give me something I can use. Tetsuo, what are you going to give your friend for his birthday? I'm going to give him uh, a game ticket. So you don't need sports game ticket. I'm going to give him a ticket. I'm going to give him a uh, baseball ticket. I'm going to give, I'm going to uh, give, give him a basketball ticket. Or I'm going to give him a ticket to a game. That's better. Tetsuro. I'm going to get, I'm going to give him a ticket to a game. Okay, Candy, what are you going to give your mother for her birthday? I'm going to give her a hand mixer. Oh, Anna's going to get herself a... I'm going to give myself a new iPhone 14. <laughs> oh, I gave myself already. So, so, Anna, I gave myself a new iPhone 14 last Saturday. I gave myself. So, it's... Not going to, going to is the, is the future, right? But you already did it, so it happened, so I gave myself. Katie, number nine, original sentence. What are you going to give your husband for his birthday? I'm going to give him all my love. Oh, that is a great present, Katie. You are a good wife. Very good. Umesh, number nine. What are you going to give your brother for his birthday? I'm going to give him a keychain. <laughs> okay. A keychain. Okay. Oh, boy, Marta. <laughs> Wait, Sylvia. I didn't see Sylvia. I didn't see that one. A tattoo. Sylvia, I'm going to give her a ticket to a Broadway show. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Sylvia, Sylvia lives in New York, and so that's where Broadway is. And that's where they have all those musicals. Tetsuo, what are you going to give your friend for his birthday? I'm going to give him a baseball ticket. Perfect. Air Lady, what are you going to give your, your friend's baby for its birthday? I'm going to give... Him a xylophone. Very good, air lady. What are you going to give your daughter for her birthday? I'm going to give her new pants. Oh, Mubarak, I'm going to give myself a new car. Mubarak, I thought you're homeless. What happened? <laughs> Wait, so you're going to live in your car? So you're going to... You're going to give yourself a new car so you could live in it. Lisa, number nine, original conversation. I'm going to give you, if you win a lottery, whatever you like. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. So, yeah, okay. Okay, sorry. I, I think I read that wrong, Lisa. Sorry. I'm going to give you... If I win the lottery, whatever you like. Okay, Lisa, I, I, I'm sorry. I read your sentence poorly. Let me read it one more time. That's fantastic, Lisa. Number nine, original conversation by Lisa. I'm going to give you, if I win, a lot, if I win the lottery, whatever you like. Mwah. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good Mubarak. You're joking, right? I am not homeless. That's good to hear, Mubarak. I'm happy to hear that. 
Okay, Umesh, what are you going to give Bob for his birthday? I'm going to give him a vase. Sylvia, I'm going to give her a mixer for, for her to make a lot of cakes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. So Lisa, you, I think you're Japanese. Where, what city do you live in, Lisa? What city do you live in? Me, what, I'm going to give myself a new box color? I'm not sure, what do you mean by that mean? Oh, Osaka, okay. I've been to Osaka a few times. I'm in uh, Gifu. I'm in the countryside. You're in the big city, Lisa, big city, Osaka. Candy number eight. What are you going to give your girlfriend for her birthday? I'm going to give her perfume, perfect. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> we're doing this worksheet right now, but we're almost finished. We're, we're wrapping it up a few more minutes and then we are finishing the worksheet. And we got to do the poll. Oh my, I forgot about the poll. Oh boy, don't forget the poll. Let, let's, let's actually, this is a good time. Let's do the poll right now. Let's, let's do the poll. So, we did the worksheet, no problem. We can, we'll do a little bit of review on Tuesday, okay? So we'll, we'll do a little bit of the, of the worksheet on Tuesday. Okay, Air Lady says, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? I'm going to give him an alarm clock. I'm going to give him an alarm clock. Okay, good, Air Lady. Okay, it's time for the poll, all right? So, I don't want to forget it. I always forget the poll. So one, two, three, and then number four is the poll. Okay, let's, let's look at the poll. So let's say goodbye to the worksheet for now. Oh, Hernando, one more time. Okay, last one. Hernando, number nine, original sentence or original conversation. What are you going to give Mark? For his birthday, I'm going to give him a Colombian or a bag of Colombian coffee. <laughs> a bag of Colombian coffee. Hernando, I am drinking. This is Colombian coffee. I'm drinking Colombian coffee right now. I love Colombian beans. Thank you, Hernando. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that bag of Colombian coffee beans. Okay, let's, let's um, look at the poll. So in top of the chat, in the blue box, we have a poll. Let's have a look at it. There's 100 people voted. Mwah! Thank you, everyone, for doing that. And here it is. When I stay at a hotel, I like to. So I'm going to write that pattern on the board so we can practice it. So the, the, the sentence is, when I stay at a hotel. When I stay at a hotel, I like to. Okay, and then you finish the sentence. Finish the sentence. When I stay at a hotel, I like to. And so, here we have three choices. Use the pool. When I stay at a hotel, I like to use the pool. Number two, when I stay at a hotel, I like to order room service. Number three, when I stay at a hotel, I like to wear a bathrobe. And then four is your own answer. Write something else. Write that in the chat. And the most popular response, the number one answer or the number one uh, sentence, use the pool. When I stay at a hotel, I like to use the pool. 50%. Wow, so that's a big, 
most people, that's a large margin. So most people want to use the pool. And then number two, order room service. When I stay at a hotel, I like to order room service. 36% said that. And then 7% said wear a bathrobe, very uh, a small percent. And then 7% was something else. So um, in the chat, let's see your sentences. Please finish the sentence. Okay, Ava says, I like to use the pool. Uh, Diana likes to use the pool. Sylvia likes to use the pool. Umesh likes to use the pool. Uh, Sander likes to use the pool. Oh, Ava says, when I stay at a hotel, I like to meet with people. Yeah, so like maybe you know, in the restaurant or, you know, next to the pool outside, meet lots of people. Good, Ava. Oh, Eduardo, when I stay in a hotel, I like to have a great breakfast. When I stay at a hotel, I like to have a great breakfast. Yeah, the usually maybe they have like buffets, like a breakfast buffet. I like that too. Order room service. Oh, Hernando, I like to use the pub. When I stay at a hotel, I, I like to use the pub. Order room service and M, your lady, what are you going to give your teacher? I'm going to give my teacher a birthday book. Hernando likes to use the gym. Very good. Yeah, so most, most hotels have a gym. You can um, work out. Lisa, when I stay at a hotel, I like to see the view from the top floor. Oh, yeah, nice. Or here in Japan, uh, many hotels have a spa, right, like a, a, a bath a big bath, a spa, and so um, here in Japan, spas, um, hot tubs are very popular. Mubarak, when I stay at a hotel, I like to eat and drink beer. Umesh, when I stay at a hotel, I like to sleep. Okay, good. Trolley um, likes to use the pool. Mary likes to use the pool. Oh, um, Ava likes to have coffee and cake. Tetsuo likes to have a massage. Maybe use the spa, get a massage. That's nice. Sylvia, uh, I like to have room service for dinner and breakfast at the buffet. I like, okay, Sylvia, nice. I like to have room service for dinner and breakfast at the buffet. Breakfast at the buffet. Mubarak, when I stay at a hotel, I like to play tennis and swim in the ocean. Oh, beach resort, nice. Hanan, when I stay in a hotel, I like to get my breakfast. Yeah, or um, go to the breakfast buffet. Go to the breakfast buffet. Diana, when I stay at a hotel, I like to relax. Uh, Meem, when I stay at when I stay at a hotel, I like to have a spa. Early, when I go to, oh, what are you going to give your mother? I'm going to give her a hand mixer. Sylvia, do you prefer to live in the US or Japan? <laughs> That's a difficult question. Yeah. It, I need to, I can't just answer quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sylvia, I can't answer quickly about that. We have to sit down and talk about it. So that's not an easy, that's not easy to say. There's no easy answer for that, Sylvia. Mubarak, when I stay at a hotel, I like to invite girls. <laughs> Mary, when I stay at a hotel, I like to use the spa, yes. 
Okay, Candy, number nine, original sentence. What are you going to give your son for his birthday? I'm going to give him a knit hat. All right, Candy. For winter, a winter knit hat. Umash, when I stay at a hotel, I like to go out of the hotel and visit museums. Nice, nice. Okay, Sandra, when I stay at a hotel, I like to drink wine with my friend. Nice, nice. Hernando, when I stay at a hotel, I like to use the beach chair on the beach. Very good. Sylvia, I like to have room service and a buffet at the bar. Tetsuo, I like to buy souvenirs. Yes, souvenirs are very popular. Okay, Air Lady, original sentence, original conversation. What are you going to give your friend? For her birthday, I'm going to, or what are you going to give your friend for his birthday? I'm going to give him a pair of gloves. Very good, Air Lady. What are you going to give your friend for his birthday? I'm going to give him a pair of gloves. Very good. Umesh, when I stay at the hotel, I like to have a feast. Lots of food at the buffet. <laughs> Eva, I like to drink wine at the buffet. <laughs> Mubarak, when I stay at a hotel, I like to watch Mark's channel. Oh, Mubarak, Mwah, that's the best one right there. <laughs> oh, Hanan, when I stay in a hotel, I like to meet my teacher, Mark. Mwah, thank you very much for that kind words. Thanks for your kind words. Mary, um, when I stay at a hotel, I like to watch television. Air lady, when I stay at a hotel, I like to enjoy outside. Yeah, go around to the sites. Walk around the city. Yeah, so air lady, when I stay at a hotel, I like to walk around the city. I like to walk around the city. You're very welcome, air lady. Hugs and kisses from Brazil, Diana. Thank you. Mwah. Okay, well, I think it's time that we go. It is lunchtime for me right now. It is time for my lunch. Mubarak, okay, Mubarak has a question. Um, I like to, or, it, it depends on how, it, either one's okay. So, um, real quick, okay, this is, Mubarak has a question. We'll, I'll answer this real quick here. So, um, like to versus ing. So we have a couple options here. Same meaning. So, um, I like to relax in, okay, so at the hotel, right? So I like to relax at the hotel. Okay, so here we have our verb, right? And so to verb, right? Like to plus um, base verb. Okay, and then if you want to use um, the, the ing verb, you can just say, I like relaxing at the hotel. Okay, so there's no two, I, and then just the ing. So base plus ing. Base, verb, plus ing. So they mean the same. I like to relax at the hotel, or I like relaxing at the hotel. So it, it's which you prefer. So either way is okay. Either way is okay. I like to relax at the hotel. I like relaxing at the hotel. So either way is fine. I have breakfast time for, oh, so okay, I am having, okay, Ava, I am having breakfast now, <laughs> uh, which is better. I think 
it, what's easier for you to say, Mubarak? So Mubarak asked me, which is better? I say, what is easier for you? Which one is easier for you? Use the one that is easier for you, okay? So which one it's easier for you to remember? Which one it's easier for you to say? Tetsuo, when I stay at a hotel, I like to do a pillow fight. Yay, pillow fight. Okay, have a good lunch and dessert. Okay, no dessert for lunch. Dinner time is for dessert, Eduardo. <laughs> okay, yeah, Simon, when I stay at a hotel, I like eating food. You're very welcome, Air Lady. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Sylvia, I like chilling out at the hotel. Very good. Okay, well, um, thank you, everyone, for your kind, kind support. Mwah. I really, really appreciate it. And like I said, worksheets are on my Patreon page. Please support me. Please help me there. Go to my Patreon. And um, by supporting me on my Patreon, you get worksheets that we do in our live stream classes. Also, I have a website, markkulik.com, where you can download worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos. So on my Patreon, we, um, you can download worksheets that I use in our live stream class, in our live stream classes. And then my website is for uh, worksheets, and vid uh, worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos on Patreon, worksheets that go with our live stream classes, and my website, worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos. And also I have books at amazon.com. And join the green team, yes, join the green team. Your name will be in green, okay? So um, thank you so much, everyone. I will be back on Tuesday, Tuesday, October, 25th. Whoa, time is flying, isn't it? So our next class is Tuesday, October 25th at 5 p.m. So that's our next live stream, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Japan time. I live in Japan. So when I say, and that's that will be the 18th, no, 25th, right? Yes, 25th. All right, so our next live stream class, Tuesday at 5 p.m., October 25th, Japan time. And you can get the worksheets that, for, that we use for our live stream classes on my Patreon, okay? And have a great weekend. It's Saturday here in Japan, so... Have a great weekend. Be safe. Smile. Stay healthy. Be safe. Stay healthy. Be safe. Yes, October 25th. Thank you, Tetsuro. Thank you, Air Lady. Thank you, everyone. Let's count down to saying goodbye. Let's count down to saying goodbye together. You and I together. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Thank you so much, everyone. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. I will see you on Tuesday, Octo October 25th, 5 p.m. Thank you very much. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Thank you.